Hi, I'm Derek Carroll, a PvP designer at Bungie, talking about uh, Sparrow Racing in Destiny the Taken King. So Derek, talk about a little about this racing mode you announced here at the PlayStation Experience. Okay, so Sparrow Racing is a six-player free-for-all race um, on Mars and Venus. The event will run from December 8th to the 29th, and it's just good fun. So talk about how the racing will work. So you said it's a free-for-all six. Do the sparrows go different speeds? Can you customize your sparrow? Do the sparrows level up? Um, the sparrows don't level up. There are different sparrows. There's the sparrow you had for years and years. If you got something in a raid, all those are viable in the race. Um, you'll get a 160 sparrow through playing the event. And there's other sparrows you could buy. You don't have to. They're not going to give you a competitive advantage. But you can match your color schemes and things like that. So how will the racing work? Because sparrows in the world, they all go the same speed. Right. Yeah, so in... On patrol, the sparrows will still go the same speed they do, but when you hit gates in sparrow racing, every gate you hit increases your maximum top speed. When you miss gates, your top speed gets dropped again. So talk about some of the tracks and the obstacles players will experience on set tracks. Yeah, because this is Destiny, if you're racing on Mars, you're going to see some Cabal and some Vex. Uh, there's Taken that can appear depending on when you play. Um, and so they, they don't care about racing, so they're going to shoot at you when you go by. Are you able to get off your sparrow in the racing mode and walk around, or are you stuck on your bike? No, you're you're on your you're on your sparrow. If you get off your sparrow, we reset you. So that's a way to get back on track if you go off track too too far. Destiny was a game that was heavy criticized when it first came out, but it's really come into its own this past year, especially with the Taken King and stuff like this. What other plans do you have for it in the future with keep with adding on great things like racing and better raids and a better equipment slots and everything? I don't have anything to announce besides Sparrow Racing right now, but you'll see, you know, with Taken King, we did the Festival of the Lost, now we have Sparrow Racing for our December event, so we are keep building on the foundation we, we started with. So are we going to see more uh, Sparrow options in the three weeks that this race mode is up? Um, what we've announced is what you'll see for this event. So um, there's Sparrows, there's Sparrow Horns, there's um, different shaders, you can get gear drops that let you... Um, customize your stuff a little better. Do you think in the future we might see like this racing mechanic implemented into new raids and such? Into raids? I Yeah, I don't have anything to announce on that. No. So, it's only for So, is this going to this racing mode going to be similar to Iron Banner where it, Iron Banner where it only happens, you know, once every so often? Um, so, we haven't decided on a cadence beyond this winter event. So right now that's what we're saying it is. Uh, but we built the event, we could bring it back. If people really love it, we could see when it can slot in in the future. And how has fan feedback uh, helped you develop the game further from the past two expansions? Um, I mean, we're always listening to the fans, we're looking at the data, we're seeing what people are really playing, what they're really interested in. Uh, obviously the, fan, the forum feedback and stuff is great. Um, so, I mean, Sparrow Racing itself comes from a community desire to just race the Sparrow. And, you know, as soon as it, the pre-alpha came out, people were driving them around in patrols. It's fun to do, so people wanted a more formal, you know, racing mode. There was a particular Sparrow that a lot of uh, Year 1 players got with the flames that could do tricks. Will people be able to acquire that now in the new racing mode? I don't think, I don't think you can get it as part of the racing mode, but all the Sparrows in race are trick Sparrows, so they can all do the, the same the same tricks. So how many tracks are you guys going to have uh, when this mode releases? Uh, there's the two tracks that we've shown, the Campus Martius on Mars and Infinite Descent on Venus. And how big are the tracks in comparison to the areas in the world already? Um, they're pretty big, but they're linear, so you don't go, you can't just free roam on them. So in terms of square footage, they're really big, but you experience them five minutes at a time at top speed. So they'll be like hidden areas and shortcuts in, in the tracks that cut your distance? Yeah, there's definitely shortcuts that you can take. Um, we'll leave that up to the players to find all the, the best lines and the way they play. Yeah. And the most important question is, when can people get on their Sparrow and race in this mode? When? Uh, December 8th, Tuesday. It will open up for everybody, everyone who owns the Taken King on all the platforms.